At that point, Surang had been out of school for about five years and had a lot of catching up to do. He begged his teachers not to send him back to the second grade, but to let him work to catch up with his classmates who were now in the sixth grade. He continued to push himself, doing his chores in the afternoon and spending many late nights studying on the steps of the courthouse under the light so that he would not have to use up the kerosene by burning a lap at Ichiro's house. He would sit there with a dictionary and textbook, looking up every word he did not know and pushing himself to understanding his schoolwork. His determination paid off, and by the end of the school year, Suran, with the help of his teachers, went from failing to passing and was promoted to the seventh grade with the rest of his class. Suran excelled in school and was later elected president of his eighth grade class. He also gave his first speech at his graduation in 1959. It was also around this time that Suran was baptized into the Seventh-day Adventist Church. It was an easy decision for him since he had already been introduced by Eblai to the Christian faith and teachings of Jesus. To further his education, he attended the ninth grade at Palau Intermediate School since the SDA school went up to the eighth grade. Achievement tests were given at the end of the ninth grade and because he scored well, he was eligible for high school in Guam. While attending school in Palau, Suran also earned money by doing odd jobs, including digging holes for outhouse toilets. Going to school in Guam was a dream for him, and now he was finally getting on that ship that he was teased about in the past. He made a promise to himself that he would only return to Palau when he was successful in getting his college degree. On Guam, Surang attended the current Guam Adventist Academy, but he was not aware that an American SDA family on Guam was paying his tuition. 
After one year, and finally finding out about them paying his tuition, he transferred to Tumon High School since he did not want to burden anyone and was embarrassed about receiving assistance. His upbringing had taught him to be independent and to do more to help other people than receiving help himself. He ended up staying with the Arterio family while attending school. He had many chores, such as caring for caribou in the morning and running the small family store after school. The family soon learned that he, they could trust him to manage everything. He also spent some time living on the Anderson Air Force Base with an American family where he would do household chores to earn his keep. Sorongo's strong Christian values, his hard work and integrity offered him many opportunities to work and survive outside of Palau. He was determined to do the best he could, and three years later, he graduated from Tumon High School, now known as JFK High. Among his classmates were former President Kunio Nakamura and former Guam Governor Joseph Ada. After graduation, he had dreams of attending college in the United States, but he had no money to get there, so he decided to join the U.S. Army. And so, Surangal went to the Army Recruiting Office to sign up. The recruiter assumed that he was a Guam resident and drafted him into the U.S. Army. He was shipped out to Army Basic Training at Fort Ord, California. He went on to become an Army medic stationed at Fort Meade, Maryland, serving from 1964 to 1966 at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center. This was also about the time the conflict in Vietnam was heating up. He would later meet his future wife, Marilyn Mason, while stationed at Fort Meade. After serving his term in the military, he was offered a substantial reenlistment bonus, but he turned it down to 